Super Smash Bros. as a franchise is one of the best. Nothing is better than smashing your friends with all your favorite Nintendo and non-Nintendo characters. If you have a bit of a dispute with your family or maybe some of the boys, you just start smashing. That's a conspiracy! Okay, I'm gonna stop making the smashing jokes. Anyway, everyone knows that Smash Bros. is a great game, but it saddens me to the absolute core to think some people may I never play one of the goats. So let's go pay some respects to our elders. Choose your character. Now, compared to the latest entry in the franchise, this game doesn't have the most characters. But compared to the entry before Melee, it completely doubled the amount of characters you could play. Melee added 14 new characters. To put that in some sort of perspective, Smash Ultimate, I believe, added around 6 new characters that were what not paid DLC at thinking? all. But of course, they did also bring back every other Smash character from past games, so I mean, I don't know, kind of tomato, tomato, who cares? But still, I think you can understand that that is a lot of characters, even for this day. I mean, 14 new guys, that's a lot of new people you can smack around with. To be honest, I'd be a bit surprised if you didn't at least find one of these characters that you liked and main them. For me, I'm a bit of a Dr. Mario main. Only meant for the chumps and chant, and any Fox or Falco main are bit dumbies, alright? I hate to say it, but you're all kind of idiots. I'm retarded? I always loved this cast. I always felt that it was never too big or too small. It always had enough characters that you could learn what they do and how to best counter them based on who you're playing as. But there's something I just can't put my finger on, and it is the fighting. Don't get me wrong, the fighting in this game is absolutely amazing. I mean, it is a fighting game. If it wasn't the fighting that it is, we wouldn't have Smash as it is today. But I can't really understand what this game wants to be. Sometimes, it's very fluid. I can go into combos and absolutely destroy someone. While other times, it feels very strict. Like, it has to play out an animation before I can even input the move that I want to do. I don't know what it is, but it feels incredible. Something about the feeling of restrictiveness on the controls just makes those times when you're absolutely tossing someone around and absolutely destroying them feels just way more satisfying than anything else. Getting a knee as like Captain Falcon or a Spike as Mario is probably one of the greatest feelings you will ever have in your entire life. For me, I like playing with a bit of more of a competitive rule set, meaning maps that are more Battlefield and Final Destination styled, you know, items and four stock. Now, I do understand that some people like to play with items and some people even like to play a, a timed mode. But, for my money, the best experience that you can have in this game is playing with a competitive rule set. But there is something that you do need to know if you want to play this game competitively, on like a pro level. And that's all the hidden mechanics that this game will never teach you. There is too many to list off, but I'll give you a few. You got things like Smash DI, Wave Dash, Wave Landing, Ledge Stall, Ice Climber Desync, and a bunch of other wacky shit I don't even know. What the hell am I looking at? There's just too many things that go into ma making a skilled player in Melee. If you do actually want to get really good at this game, I cannot recommend the AI enough. These are definitely by far some of the best AI Smash has, as these are the meanest I motherfuckers I have ever I don't seen take no shit in from a anyone. fighting I game. I smoke my stogie anywhere I want. I don't have to find a hideout place like you. <laughs> By far, the most brutal AI is in Melee. Every AI I fought in this game was level 9, and they could kick my ass. I got wombo comboed. Like, no joke. Captain Falcon and Falco fisted me harder than an actual semi-truck. It is insane 
of how tough these bastards are. And to show you this, I did a bit of an experiment. Or, or more of a study, I think it's classified as. Anyway, I did this in three different Smash experiences. One in Melee, one in Brawl, and the other in a mod for Brawl called Remix. In all of these, they were played with Dr. Mario and Fox, excluding Brawl, which only has Mario, so that will be played with Mario, but that's basically the same thing. Everything was played on four stocks, null items, in Battlefield-styled maps. So, just observe how insane Melee's AI is. Melee is almost 21 years old, and to this day, it is still an absolute blast to play. I'm sure that I don't need to go into every minute trivial detail about this game, because you can just say the word Super Smash Bros., and most people can get the gist. It's simple-minded fun. Sure, talking about every character in map could be very interesting, don't get me wrong, some of them have actually very weird mechanics that don't make any sense. but. I don't want to do that. Plenty of other channels have already done that, so you can go and watch them. People can just pick up Melee, play for a few hours, and really get everything they want in the game, but they're gonna keep coming back, because the game is fun and addicting of what a game should be. Fun. Maybe not the addicting part, unless it's like, I don't know, it's good. If it's like, if it's good enough to be on the, on the tier of like crack then I guess it should be addicting. This game has a great map selection and a great roster of characters, which some people may say this character is better than this character, but, you know, they're simply just wrong. Kirby is the best, and we'll just leave it at that. Anyway, moral of the story is, if you are looking for an absolute classic that is just absolutely incredible to play, look no further than this blast from the past. Sure, there are a few troubles though. Finding this and playing it may be a bit of a task to do. If you have a GameCube with Melee, you're kind of already set. If you have a GameCube, I'm sure that you can find somewhere uh, like mom and pop shops that have it or probably on eBay that sell the game. If you are looking for more nefarious ways like emulation, uh, yeah, you can do that as well, but I'm never going to supply you with actual ROM sites, because that is illegal. Find those on your own. Not endorsing. Anyway, just get your hands on this game, as nothing feels better than smashing your friends. God fucking...